Welcome to this tutorial on VoiceThread, how to add media to your VoiceThread presentation. The first thing we need to do is to create our VoiceThread. If you ever log into VoiceThread and you see a lot of different VoiceThreads that have been shared with you, simply go to this little menu here and you'll click on Owned by Me and that takes you to your VoiceThread page. I don't have any created right now, so I'm going to create from scratch and notice we have add media. This is our main focus today. So notice we have my computer where you can add files from your computer. Media sources, we have lots of different sources where we can add material. I will go through this soon. Audio recording, this is if you wanted to create a blank slide with audio from your computer. You can record it and it turns it to its own slide. The webcam photo and webcam video, this uses your computer's webcams and a lot of people use these to make introductory slides where they say hello to students or introduce the voice thread. Then we have the URL chain link and this is exciting. This is where we can actually add YouTube videos. And this is where we're going to begin. I've chosen this YouTube video, this is a scene written by College of Charleston alum David Lee Nelson starring Joy Vandervoort Cobb. And what I do is I just enter the URL of this file to add. I hit save and it will prompt me for a title. So we're going to call it Ode to Joy, hit save. And this is going to take a few minutes to process. Bigger files in VoiceThread take a little while, but I can still add media while I wait. I've received a lot of questions about how to add music. If you want to add music from your computer, you can simply go to your computer and I have an MP3 song saved. So I'm going to open that, this song, The True Wheel by Brian Eno. And this is uploading to media. And this will take a little while to process too. Now, if I click add media and go to media sources, this is where it gets kind of exciting. Notice we have my voice threads. This means that you can add from any of the voice threads you've created in your past. Khan Academy, if you're not familiar with Khan Academy, it's an American nonprofit organization with the goal of creating a set of online tools that help educate students with short lessons in the form of videos. Super helpful, especially with their math videos. They're fantastic. Then we have Flickr. Flickr is compiled of user-generated images. Note that the content is not created by VoiceThread, but you can access images from Flickr's Creative Commons licensed image database, which is great. Google Drive will go directly to my College of Charleston Google Drive, so I can add images, documents, spreadsheets to my VoiceThread from the cloud. And then the New York Public Library we have the New York Public Library's public domain database of images here, which is so exciting. I'll show you how to use that. And then sometimes Kaltura will appear here for you to use that media. Let's jump into Khan Academy. Notice that I have lots of different subjects that I can choose from. I'm going to math. I'm a fan of their math videos. And let's check out geometry. Let's go to area and perimeter. And the area of parallelogram sounds fascinating. So notice we have a short video. I'm going to hit import. It says my media has been imported. It may require additional time. Sure. Now, if I want to get out of this, I can hit the X and that takes me to the slides processing. There are other ways that I will show you soon. I'm going to go back into media sources and I'm going to grab an image from Flickr. So notice that these are categorized and I'll just go right to cities. And I would like an Amsterdam industrial night shot. I hit import. It's imported. Notice if I go to the left, I can just click and go back to media sources. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive. Notice, in order to import my files, I have to connect to my Google account in another tab. So I'll hit continue. I've got to sign in. I'm using my College of Charleston account. And then it says, go back. So I'll just X this out. 
go back. And now I'm in my drive. So I'm going to import an image from my drive that might be a little fun to use the doodle tool and draw on. Going back to media sources, the New York Public Library. Again, we have things organized by category and you can also search by keyword. If I am teaching Dante's Divine Comedy, maybe I just look up Dante and see what happens. My search result yields these images and I'm gonna click this one and import. Now that everything has had time to process, let's jump in. We're first going to take a look at the YouTube video we uploaded and notice I can just start it Hello. and I can play it. I can move through the video. I can even leave video comments anywhere using the feature that we know and love. I can leave an audio comment. And what's really cool about this is I can use the doodle tool to actually point things out in the video for students. Now, when I stop recording, it just takes a moment to upload. And I want you to notice that this comment lives at the beginning of this video. So when students look at it and they hit play, they'll hear me talk first and then they watch the video all the way through, even though this little ball shows where that comment was made. If we go to the music file, it's the same story. So this is the Brian Eno song I uploaded. It worked. Now I can go to the same tool and let's say I wanna make a video comment on this song. Here I am, hello. And notice with audio and video, we can use the doodle tool. So I can write all over this slide while I'm making my video talking to you. I stop recording, I upload it, and it lives at the exact same place. Students can get to it at the beginning, before they play the song, or they can just click up here and listen to me whenever they want. So let's move forward. Same story with the Khan Academy video. If I want to point something out specific in this video, same story. I'll use the doodle tool. Maybe I want my students to pay extra close attention to these things when they watch. And I save and upload. If I move to the next slide, this is the photo image from Flickr. Same story. We can leave an audio comment. We can use our doodle tool. And we can make sure students look at everything we want them to look at. One thing I love this doodle tool for is for actually imagining with my students. So this is a prototype of a camera holder that J.D. Stallings in theater has made. So imagine this is your cell phone and this is your camera on your cell phone and that you're teaching drawing. You can put your piece of paper, your sketch pad underneath this and you can draw on the piece of paper all hands free and this is actually taping as you go, which is really cool. So here we are on the last slide and this is the image of Dante Alighieri that we got from the New York Public Library's public domain. And what is super cool about the New York Public Library and Flickr is that these slides contain little chains. When I click the chain, it actually takes me to the resource where this image lives. So in a way, it's helping you cite your source, which is fantastic. The videos do not do that. If we go back to that Khan Academy video, it only lets me zoom in a little closer or zoom out, but the images will take you to that source database. Now that I'm done with my presentation, the last thing I wanna do, the final thing is to share. So you click share and you hit the basic tab. Now you can copy the link, but my favorite and best way is to copy the embed code and to put that into Oak's content for students to watch and enjoy.